So just as it's important to talk about all the things that you need to do when you write your essays or approach them, it's also, I think, helpful to talk about a few things that you should avoid as you craft your application essays. And I've tried to select items that I see very often um, in the applicant pool uh, and that I think candidates you know, need to be aware of and, and should seek to avoid. So the first one is quotes. Uh, it's really common for some reason for candidates to take a, a quote of someone famous that they admire um, and throw it in at the top of an essay to kind of set the tone or you know, basically using someone else's word, um, words to make your points. And I think that there are a couple of mistakes there. The first is that the admissions officer has often seen these quotes before. So because a lot of candidates use quotes and because MBA applicants often admire uh, you know, the same sort of leaders or, um, you know, uh, political figures. It's just, it's very likely that the admissions office has seen whatever quote it is you're selecting before. The other thing, and this one I think is maybe even more important, is that in many ways you're kind of wasting valuable word count with someone else's language. I mean, you're, you, you know, you, you basically are using someone else's words to make your point, and that's not ideal. Um, you know, the, your whole purpose in this process is to market yourself to the admissions team not to sort of promote some great business leader who already has a lot of respect. So keep that in mind as you think about um, putting quotes into your essays. Another one uh, that I see often is dialogue. So some candidates think that, again, this is more of a creative writing exercise, and so they, they insert bits of dialogue into their essays to kind of bring stories to life. Um, and I think that there are a few dangers there. The first is that dialogue's not terribly efficient from a word count standpoint. So it might take you many, many more words to convey a very simple scene by having some characters dialogue in your essay. Um, it's also, I think, hard to craft truly effective dialogue. Again, this isn't a creative writing program that you're applying for. It's business school. And so chances are you're not uh, the next great author. Um, and so I think you know, crafting dialogue that's effective can be challenging, and submitting dialogue that's not effective can reflect really poorly on you. So I, I just think that in, in the, at the end of the day, it's not the preferred style um, for MBA application essays. It's just, uh, it's inefficient and rarely done in a, in a, in a really effective um, fashion. So dialogue, I would avoid. Another biggie is, is jargon. So a lot of candidates use jargon in their application essays that are specific to their industry. So you know, I'm guilty of this. Uh, you know, I, I often refer to admissions, uh, to the admissions committee as the adcom. You know, and people coming in from the outside who are new to the MBA admissions process have no idea what that word means. So, you know, think about your industry and the terms that you hear day in and day out at work that you've kind of in just, you know, uh, incorporated into your own vocabulary, but that may not be uh, understood by, you know, the average intelligent person with no exposure to your industry. So if you, you know, if you write an essay and show it to someone who's not in your industry but who's you know, bright um, and well-educated and, and they're lost, then that should be a really important signal to you. Remember, your admissions reader is not necessarily a business person. And even if they are, they don't necessarily have experience in your domain. So step back. Um, the other thing that jargon can do is that it can suggest that you have problems judging your audience and that you may not be an effective communicator or an effective leader. You know, if you just are diving into jargon, it might say, gee, you know, this person hasn't thought about who they're writing for and you know, what, they're, what message they're trying to get across. So keep in mind that jargon can be, I mean, it can really be the death knell um, for candidates who are coming from the technology domain. If your essays are just filled with jargon that the admissions officer doesn't follow, not only are they not going to understand your points, but they might label you as kind of someone who's best left behind a desk programming as opposed to uh, someone who should be admitted to the MBO, MBA program and become kind of the next CEO. Okay, So, you, so jargon can really um, typecast you if you're not careful.